Hi guy, bit of a on the fly video but I thought we'd have a look at my uh, ever growing Atari Lynx collection. Uh, I know a fair few people have commented to me to think I've given up on collecting altogether but whereas that's true in the sense that I'm not getting masses and masses of consoles and games anymore, I've, I've found something to focus on because it's, well, well this, because it's uh, uh, small enough that I can enjoy collecting over a year or two and build it over time. Uh, there's the old Lynx 2, this is me a Lynx carry I know we can carry case bag, and uh, which is absolutely cram packed full of games. Now this thing is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it holds in the top section. You get two games at a time in these here wallets, and then at the back you have got these uh, massive. I don't know if you can see that there, massive pockets, which I've been keeping piles and piles of games in just to stash away. There's Desert Strike, and there's another like a Lynx mini carrier bag under there. Not showing that off well. But uh, there's a Lynx uh, com cable in there as well. I got that thing boxed. I'm going, yeah. I'll probably never get to use that because I've not met another single person with a Lynx since I've had the damn thing. But maybe in time, who knows? Anyway, you can't complain. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that. I think I've got about 40 games now. So I'm well on my way. I've got pretty much most of the rare ones now. Uh, knocking around is Lemmings, which I think I did in a previous video. but saw that on a website for 15 quid when it used the cells for about 40 and snapped it up. Now I don't really bother with um, box games and manuals and stuff. I mean I'm just perfectly happy to collect for the sake of having like, all the cartridges done on Olympics. That's a fantastic game and I don't think I've done a video on that. I probably will at some point. Pit Fighter, I picked that up the other day. See it on the camera there? Oof. Sorry, I'm. Uh, it's a bit weird wobbling at this about. There we go, yeah. It's a dreadful game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried playing it for a good hour and I just really did not get on with it. Good that they actually attempted to do a fighting game because God, the system could do with them, but uh, yeah, and uh, that one, another one I love the day, Electro Cop. That is a fantastic game. It's probably one of the best ones on the Lynx, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, this collection is really, really, I'm making a right mess. I'll have to clean all this up later. But I'm really proud of that and now it's coming along. Uh, I dad bought some box games because as I say you get them as time goes on. I don't know if you see all them there. These are all in various conditions. Probably the best one I've got, the most expensive I've got is Desert Strike. Uh, like I say I wasn't happy with the box and the, sorry I was alright with the box but the manual was just absolutely tatty. But I managed to buy one off eBay for a couple of quid. There's the, uh, the Lemmings I bought, hasn't got a, an original box. The guy, the guy who sells me called 1632 Systems, but he does these really nice cases for him, which uh, it's only a CD case, but you know, I've got, now I've got the manual to stash the game in it. And it all goes quite nice in alphabetical order. I mean, uh, I was quite surprised at the, you know, the diversity in colours on the actual boxes, like say, like, like Desert Strike, it's got blue writing on, uh, European Soccer has got red writing, then you've got the classic Atari grey cases. Bit of a good mix, there's that com cable box. And of course these are the manuals I've got. I love some of these manuals because they were uh, like life size posters with all tips and things. Again I've shown one of these off on a video and I don't want to dig it out. Then uh, I've got my, my Lynx box. I picked that, picked that up for a fiver in, uh, in an auction. I thought what the hell why not. Mine wasn't boxed so it's nice to have a full set. I'll add to the collection. I'll probably pick up a Lynx one eventually as well. And uh, another mini collection I'm going for. If you see these. Is the Atari Lynx pin badges. Now I think there was about 40. I, I, I do actually, I've got a proper total because I've got a spreadsheet with all of them listed. Uh, the problem is that they are pretty rare and when they show up on eBay, they either come up for like 2 or 3 quid or, or, or like 8 to 10 quid and in buy it now style auctions. I mean, most of these are, I've I've seen at a couple of quid I thought I'll grab them, but I think the Atari Lynx badge I picked up for about 5 or 6 quid. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and get a full full collection of them eventually. And what I'd like to get, probably for the wall somewhere, is like a like a big red velvet thing with a frame around it, and then you can like pin all the badges on. Because I think that would look absolutely fantastic. Because the the quality, I don't know if you can see these up close, but the quality is really really good, and the paintwork's amazing. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, an, another collection I'm going for. Well, yeah. Anyway. I think that's enough showing off the links. I do have a, a capacitor kit for 
for fixing these and replay, you know, making the screen a lot stronger. I've not got a game in, so I can't show it off to. So, well, you've seen me, me videos with the actual gameplay, so you know what it's like. I did get another broken links, which I was going to use to practice soldering on, but uh, I actually opened it up and messed around the side and actually managed to get that working. Uh, that's actually going to be going back on eBay soon because it'll help me pay for a few more games. But yeah, if anybody's got any uh, uh, badges that they're thinking of getting rid of, uh, please drop me a line because I'm interested in, in finishing that collection as soon as possible. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and look forward to a, another video soon.